That didn't work out. Son of a bitch, same tree. We're good. Okay guys, um, I made the plunge and I went ahead and tried a Naze 32 board on my copters. Um, first of all, let me say that this project of going with Naze took me about 24 hours worth of work to get it all to work. It was uh, enough to drive me to drinking pretty much, and um, but the results were really good. Um, the combination of the Naze 32 board with um, the uh, BL Heli uh, speed controllers with one shot 125 all enabled made a very 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 good flying copter. Um, I did not notice a big difference in the big copter. I noticed a little bit of a difference but not a huge difference but in the little copter I noticed a big gain. Um, if you guys are flying and just learning how to fly don't mess with this. Uh, for the guys that are more advanced and uh, are doing some more aerobatics and fast forward flight it's definitely worth a, a shot. So I'm going to demonstrate the uh, Naze 32 board with the one shot uh, BL Heli speed controllers. It'll be the one with the black prop over here. I've also got one here that's using the Simon K. I basically just took off my KK board and put this, this board on here and configured it. Didn't see a big difference in it at all. In fact, it has less power. Uh, not less power than I had before, but less power than the, the BL Helis. I understand the BL Heli speed controllers are a little bit more optimized for more power and it's supposed to actually give you and I can probably verify they do have that much more power. Um, this one is used to speed controllers from Rotor Geeks. It's a 30 amp with the 2 amp BEC. It's the only one I could find um, that had good specs and, and uh, actually had the, you don't have to use a BEC in it. These, uh, th ugh, crap. Okay, this one is using speed controllers from um, Ready to Fly Quads or the uh, Little B 20 amp speed controllers and uh, they do require a, an external BEC and I'll, I'll explain all this to you later when we put together a video for that. Uh, this one used the Simon K so we controlled some Buddy RC and they did not re require another BEC and these Rotor Geek 30, speak, 30 amp speed controls did not require BEC because they have a built in 2 amp BEC which was made me very happy. So it would be a very easy conversion if you wish to do that in a full size. Um, so I'm going to fly something. Here we go. a bitch same tree we're good This is really stupid. I'm gonna try anyway, though. One scared. I gotta take the gains now.
do without running away. So dead steady, auto level. Auto level off. And just to give you an idea, it's I mean bring it closer. That's the stick movement to show you how how quick it'll lock into whatever I gotta remember to turn off those, uh, whatchamacallits, but let's see what I broke. Nothing. Sweet. Oh. Oh. Okay, so well, the motor wires kind of got over there and one's about to come out, so let me push that back in. Push these back down the way. They're a little long. Hey, let's throw it. Okay, cool thing. Auto level. <laughs> let's do it again. So since it's armed, it's armed. It'll see I have throttle down, but it's still trying to level itself out on auto level, so. Kind of no fun. Let's do it off of auto level. Okay, off auto level now. That's probably a bad idea. That's not really all that uh clear. Let's throw it away from us. Okay, I had to put a little bit, but sure, it locked it in place, so as soon as I let it go, whatever whatever way oh I let it go, it just locks it in place. That's pretty cool. So Nate 32 Mini T Aerobatics is a big go. Uh, learning how to fly, stay with the KG board. You know, I think you can use. In fact, I'm positive. If you want, well, I don't know. If you wanted to um, put the BL Heli one shot speed controls in the KK2 board, I bet that would work fine. Because I've done it with a client's uh, copter who had BL Helis. So you could start with the KK2 board, and then when you get pretty good. Not hit yourself, then you can just buy the naze board for a couple, you know, 25 bucks or whatever, and then uh, you know, had that fun. I don't know, it might be able to set it up so even a beginner can mess with it. I, I, I don't know, I really like it. It's making this little mini kind of my favorite copter now. Come at me, good. See how many flips I can do low to the ground. So I haven't broken these props yet. Let's do three flips. Ready? Piece of cake. That was three rolls. My bad. Do it again. So the other cool thing is when you're doing these aerobatics is before you had to have throttle control in your low setting, but you can actually bring it down and still have control. So bad, bad if you have a bunch of KK boards because then when you try to fly the KK2 boards, you pull the throttle all the way down, the motor's quit, so kind of catch 22. This thing's been beat the hell, by the way, and it's still got the original everything except I think that arm's been replaced. I don't know. It's great, though. Man, it's way up there. 
So that tail waggle, but I'm telling you, since I, with these uh, really powerful batteries, these are 45C batteries, like racing batteries, it didn't show up before I put those batteries on there, so I'm assuming it's just, I had crap batteries on there, like two-year-old batteries. Oh, battery's dead. Okay, time to land, like, really quick. That's the other problem. No battery warning, uh, no beep beep on... I, I understand there's a way to do it, but I don't know how to do the beep beep yet. So I'm going to do the one with the Simon K. Uh, I broke a prop in the other one, obviously. So I'm too lazy to get another one, so we'll get one... We'll shoot some video of this one. I want you to kind of pay attention when I do the flips upside down, and, and, and I'll do some close-in flips. But you'll see a little bit of waggle with it. You'll also see a little bit in the hover. It's not as, as smooth. Um, I didn't do hover with the other one, so... You can see it's got a little bit of a quiver to it. Um, might be able to take a little bit of that out in, um, in what you call it, but uh, in uh, gains. But uh, let's do that hard flip upside down and throttle up. And if you can tell, it had it still had rotation, so it didn't fall. You know, didn't uh, keep going up as much. So because the props are still going, crap. Let me hit something else. Uh, because the props are still kind of accelerated up when you flip it upside down, it kind of pulls it back down. That's fine if you're just going up and not, not you know, doing anything. That's okay. So, uh, like I said, if you have a KKD board, stick with it, you know. If, uh, I don't know if you can see the little bit of a waver when I hit that upside down part. I didn't really do it. It's just not as locked in as the BL Heli in the one shot. And it doesn't have the power either. Um, I don't know if you can tell the full throttle. That's full throttle. And that's what I have with the KK board, but it seems to have more of the BL Heli. And this is the same exact battery and, and everything as we were doing before. So, in essence, if you have a, one of my copters ready, I wouldn't uh, mess with the uh, Nate 32 board necessarily. Um, so I wouldn't mess with an A32 until you're ready to go the whole blown thing with the whoop, 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 and with the uh, speed controllers and everything. It's just it's, you really feel a difference there. You feel some difference here, but maybe five, ten percent difference. Not not enough worthwhile to go through the trouble. Um, so I'm going to fly a full size T copter on Nays with BL Heli in one shot, and uh, it was not. A huge difference for me. Um, I wouldn't recommend the full side personally, unless I fly some more, make a different change later on. But at this time, I would say on the full size, I'd probably stick with the KK two. <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna go with the KK uh, the big one. Okay, no break. I'm gonna pull this up. Trigger so the shot off. Okay, no break. So get the idea of no break. Break. All right, full size T. Nays, BL Heli, one shot 125. Again, not a huge difference from the KK2 board, but a little bit. Uh oh. Let's get away from the house. A little tighter, but but not, you know. So I might hit those trees. Let's do the swish test. I like doing the. I could probably speed up my rotations a little bit more. So this one's got the brake too, so you can get that great hold. Oh, tree, tree! Oh, you got that great hold time, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Checking out that last one. So um, you know, it's real, it's tight, but it's not. not, you know, it's not a whole lot different from KK. 
got it. I got it. All right, I'm going out of the oh, tree. All right, kind of screwed that one up. I noticed with these, these better batteries, these, you know, much stronger batteries, uh, I'm getting a little tail wag, and I think I just got a little bit too much gain in the tail. I got a lot of gain in this one. Alright, you guys know the big T is my favorite flyer. The little T is kind of becoming my favorite because, yeah. I'm still trying to disarm. Oh, there's a prop break. So you can see how quickly it breaks the props or stops the props, breaks the props, whatever. So, um, okay. So, give you an idea. It's a little teaser, and I'm going to go through and how to. Okay, the cool thing is I figured out how to save my settings in the board. And this way, if I sell you a board, I can send them to you with Clean Flight, the newest version of Clean Flight, all my settings. Um, I'll calm it down a little bit for people to start with, and I'll explain to you how to bring it back up to the high performance level. But it'll make, I'm hoping to put together a video that can get you to an A32 without 25 friggin' hours of, uh, of work at it. So I'm hoping to be more like, you know, a normal build time. So uh, um, I've got, I think I've got just about everything worked out. I just got to write everything down and make a diagram and all that kind of crap but you you'll get the idea so hopefully you can get a simple copter version of nays 32 which means it's simple so all right guys i'm gonna sign off bye oh happy new year by the way it's new year's day eve new year's eve later